My name is Anne Marie. I am 15 years old. This is my first year in Yes Leads. And uh, I chose to join because uh, I have a younger brother and I want him and all of his friends that are this age to not do drugs. My name is Sean. I have been in Yes Leads for one year and I chose to join so that I could help talk to little kids about what they should do in their future. My favorite part has definitely been the presentations because I like the enthusiasm in the kids. My favorite part about being in Yes Leads has been going to the elementary schools and talking to kids and helping to interact with them about their future. One of the activities that we did today was the apple activity and it's, it represents your body. The apples are supposed to look the same on the outside, but then when you feel them, the textures are different. It is to show the difference between a person that does drugs and a person that doesn't do, and how it looks on the outside compared to how it may make you feel on the inside or what it does to the inside of your body. Healthy, very good. Good job. The reaction of the kids with the activities today was very engaged and interested, but also shocked at some point because it helps educate them about what they may not know, and being involved helps them really stay focused in what they're learning. Being a role model is important to me so I can help people with their future and then they can look up to me and come to me with any advice that they might need. Being a role model is important to me because I've always looked for a good role model and it's really nice to have someone to look up to. It's very important to have a strong self-will and be able to say no to peer pressure when everyone else is doing it because if you give into that, you're not going to be very good for me. It's just one lesson about peer pressure uh, in the high school that I want kids to know is that it doesn't exist as often as you, you may think, but it's definitely present and it's definitely kind of scary when it happens.